Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you mm. And welcome back to the beat up planners of a turn to our Jewish gem campaign. Though that is not exactly the focus of the opening few minutes of this episode. Because you think I'm screwing with history. Wait until you understood what actually this means. That's right now on the screen. The Holy Roman Empire. Since the fall of the Western Roman Empire in 476, the Emperor of Byzantium has been the sole claimant to the heritage of the Caesars, or the Caesars, depending on your pronunciation. There has always been a rift between the Greek and the Latin worlds, not least in matters of the Church. The popes in Rome have for a long time made their own policies, refusing to accept the Byzantine supremacy and denying that the Emperor in Constantinople would hold a legitimate claim to the authority over Christendom. Childeric de Chamontois, that's your first hint, has been crowned Holy Roman Emperor by Pope Marinus IV, invoking the Translatio Imperio, sorry, Translatio Imperii, and restoring the Western Roman Empire. This perhaps signifies a new era in the history of Europe, and is definitely a confirmation of the long-standing rift between East and West. Yes, because popes were stubborn, that's why we and the Greeks... And, well, the Balkans here, or a good portion of the Balkans, uh, went away from each other. Human stubbornness, but strange tidings. The Holy Roman Empire. <clears throat> the papacy has gained all this. This is simply what happens when you create the Holy Roman Empire. They, they gain all these lands. And uh, it's because the Lombard crown history has been installed to a different man. Not the family that has always held it for now. Who, by the way, still holds the Iron Crown of Lombardy. No, installed by a faction of men to a guy that apparently was also the king in Aquitaine. Which started as a French kingdom, or Frankish, that would be logical, Charlemagne, then went to Frankish, sorry, for, for a short moment only French, interesting. Frankish, 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 French, Lombard. And I don't know why they really would like this guy so much, considering... I mean, he's brave and just alright, but... For the rest, he's dull and he's stubborn. He is uh, married to this lady, who's also a Lombard, who has tidings over here in Italy. But, uh, yeah. Because he holds a crown outside of Lombard, he was able to form the Holy Roman Empire. This is now all Holy Roman Empire, by the way. Don't ask. Don't ask. It's... The Borgor is huge. But if we look at the De Jure Empire, that's even weirder, because officially now Aquitaine falls in it, plus the uh, Lombard, or Italy, the, uh, I'll still call it Lombard, and I should call it Lombard probably because it's uh, Italian. Yeah, that's always a little bit the weird thing of, of the Lombard culture. It, it can randomly switch back to Italian, which... I tried this, and it's just, just a fight, and it's just annoying, and it's like... It never ends, so it seems. At least I've never found a date where it just goes, Okay, Lombard won. Lombard stays. Because also random vassals can just flip towards Italian. And this guy not, because of course he is... Uh, this campaign, perhaps they removed that, that they randomly switched towards Italian. But the people uh, at least switch to it. Anyways, this is now the Holy Roman Empire. Ish. Is your really weird Holy Roman Empire. And this guy also has a claim to Germany. So I'm not sure if he's going to go for it. Now that he is this strong. And has the ability to do it. By the way, this is House Babenberger. Familiar? Babenbergers? If not, then you have missed a certain campaign of mine. But yes, the Babenbergers are on the throne. Um, uh, but, yeah, um, I, I, I'm curious to see if they will go for it, but it's, it's a messy world here. It, it the, by the way, there's also, there's also Babenberger. Ah, 
Yeah, I don't pay much attention to this area, but, uh... Wow. Bordegor. Wow. Oh, the Roman Empire. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Because it is a mess. I mean, France is hardly France. It's the coast here. We have the Flemish. Which probably are not Flemish right now. Oh, they're a little bit Dutch here. And still freezy. It's, it's just a whole mess. I mean, I'm just trying to be nice over here. But alright. That's not the only thing, however, that happened. My boy over here. He's a good son. But his wife... Such a young, juicy little leaf that I couldn't help myself. <laughs> Let's see if I could get a strong child with her. And get myself... Um, air. Because as long as they are not landed, there is a smaller chance that they will make children. So hench, I don't mind this. I might even try to become lustful on one of my hunting trips. We'll have to see. Um, currently, the situation with the Abbasid. Mm, probably the wars of my vassals, my single county counts, well, he's already winning them, they just don't have the army. He is losing against this Emirat, as well as Jerusalem, who's now conquering this area. Yes, they are, they're not the first army to siege here, but the army is larger, and that apparently is now the new rule that goes to them. Joins the defensive pact. What did you become my vassal? Not my de jure liege. I can change that. I can create the Kingdom of Arabia. Hmm. I can create the Kingdom of Arabia. Jeez, expensive, but done. Not all. And it would go to him, but that I won't allow, so this will, won't happen. Uh, it's the fout. No, it's over here. Uh, that's not even that much of a problem. Uh, so who is going to get it? I guess the Hasimit. Or I could give it to Gideon. I could. But this man is already Ethiopian, and I think... No, this is the capital. I don't know what the capital is, but it is in Sana. Hmm, and this man is suspicious to me. And this boy I trained myself. But a duke? Manzur of Medina, you, you kept your own wife. Ah, because she's highly suspicious. Um... It would also remove this territory away, I guess. Hmm. Are we going to... I mean, it's not all in the family. It's not all in the family. That is actually the main thing. We've already given so many titles to... To family members. There you go. Kingdom of Arabia. That alone should help a ton. Alright, we lost a position there for, for Chancellor. But this man is available still. Because everybody else is just plain old sucky. Sorry to say. So, you. And we'll talk to Abyssinia. Well, we have a new kingdom. And then he should have enough troops to really whack down on a few more people. And for some reason, that causes everybody to rejoin the... F yeah! People rejoin, why is this? I've just gained fret. Why have I gained fret over this? I did this peacefully. Um, I just gained fret. 
I just peacefully usurped this guy. And he's ang and they're angry with me. Uh Why in the world is that? Wonderful, some extra technology, but that's just weird. I gained a paranoid trait, yeah, what do you want? I've so many times refused to read something. Um, good military commander, very well. We'll do that. We have some technological advancements again that we can do. I'm gonna go for siege equipment then, I guess, and light infantry. And I guess we're gonna go with... That's the town infrastructure, because it's more money from towns, and that we can use. Noble customs, voila. And that means my spy master is idle. Well, there's a uh, county where we can steal something from. Some technology. Yeah, that's the problem, when you become so vast. That the rains just slip away from you. Um, well, we'll have to see. Oh. Okay. Unfaithful lecture. I didn't even do anything, woman. Oh, actually, I did, but... Oh, uh, what do you want to do? Seeks to kill Prince Amar of Abyssinia. Yeah, no way. That was already what I was a bit afraid of, but we were already asking her to stop, I think. Highly suspicious. Burn the apostate. Burn the apostate. I'm kind of pissed that that brought me fret. I did it peacefully. I peacefully asked this man to join. He didn't wage war or anything. And still, they're like, you are a fret. This is kindly, man. I didn't force him to join me. I feel like that was a little bit weird. It's not even noted in the. It's not in that I've gained fret at this rate. It will, I've done nothing to gain this, officially according to what's over here. But nevertheless, I gained fret. How is it here in the West? Uh, well, Africa is still fighting for. Oh! The boy's already- oh yeah, I already knew that the boy was on the throne. Oh, uh, who do you want to marry? I- fine. I don't think it's very wise to give your king a uh, claim to your empire, but... I have no better- I have no- and I don't have a better husband for her. But well, it's interesting to know that this guy just gained his independence simply by probably saying, I want to be independent, and he just accepted. So, that's all good. Oh, uh, we lost the council position of Spy Master, apparently. Um, that's going to be you, then. Congratulations. Why am I so slow? There we go. A peasant revolt. Again, they're so unruly up here. It's probably because all oh, borders are so far away that they think, oh, we can do this. Well, come again. Bye bye. And execute. Ah, oh, this time his head goes off. Okay. 
peasantry. Uh, what are you? Um, harvest of festivals, yes. We'll gain more support anyways. Oh, that's the army of this kingdom title. This temporary kingdom title. Uh, you are married already to my sister. This is a grandson of mine. Betrothed matrilineal, matrilineal doesn't really matter. It's all in the family. <laughs> and that's why I gave the kingdom to a non-family member, but uh, that's fine. I'm sure Sana will be... It will be too hard for him to, to push Sana out. Sana has quite a few troops. It has 4,000 on its own, and he has 6,000 on his own. And he will lose the troops from Sana, so it will be fine. What are you doing? You are now actually attacking in the Holy War for. Okay. I need to make a baby with her. Whoa, how did you get an infection? How did you get wounded in the first place? A natural death. Call the court physician at once. That's for the flu. Oh, bit of a disadvantage there. But yeah, I'm just being my nice self, not trying to wage war, just trying to be prosperous. I said already in the last episode, like, if you don't want to calm think that this is... That's not gonna ha happen. Um, if you want a nice, calm episode, then this episode isn't for you. I said that for the last one, but then, no. Some things interceded on, uh, which caused me to be unable to hold on to that title. Oh, what's going on? Sonar. Oh yeah, that... This county is not part of Nubia. Okay. Oh, he just sees this. My commander Iskinder was slain on the field of battle. And now she rules. Will you s I don't know why I clicked on that. I shouldn't have clicked on that, but whatever. There we go. It's interesting how I help this guy and then he goes immediately, Oh, now I can wage war. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Hmm, I'm really, I'm really disappointed with the Fred thing. There is a son. Okay, he isn't mine, so he isn't strong. But Iazu, I'm. Yeah, he doesn't want to name it after me, of course. I can understand that. Let's just accept that. And that means we have a son. But by the way, is he truly of him? I have to check this. What? Sorry, I spiked my mic. That was a child being murdered. That... Ooh, that sound. Char info, just checking. Uh, actually... Uh, yeah, that is... He doesn't seem to be... Uh, no, he's really of my son. Holy heck, she's got a headache. She's got an infected wound. She's got all kinds of trouble. Holy flippity, okay, um, that's bad, and I just heard a child dying a horrible, horrible death. No, you just inherited, so it wasn't you. She just got imprisoned. What was that sound? That sound was really, really unsettling. Uh, enjoy about not doing anything because you can't do sh shine with that score. Sorry for the language, but really. That's fine. Did you really not win that? Wow. Yeah, you should have actually gone also on the to the other side. Was won even by him. He must have gotten help from these guys. Oh. Measles in our country, but uh, he should have attacked for that. 
Yep, measles and immediately where I am. Lovely. Shut the gates. Seal it. Oh, war, war, issues, issues. Holy poop. Yeah, I know my account some answers either, but he's horrible. I couldn't even see what I was before it got clicked away. Uh, apparently he asked for another wife or something, I don't know. Things move so fast, I can't keep... I can't even keep track of them. Uh, trusting... Why not charitable? But it's really good that... Oh, my son has become deceitful. Hey, he has at least survived his wounds. As his wife, but she's got the flu now. Uh, the steward, Nisha, wants to talk to you about the old tunnels under the castle. The argument is that maintained... You never know when you'll get her out quick, though. What a splendid idea. Uh, this is a disaster. Seal the tunnels, I could say. Oh, uh, hold on. For I'm doing too many things at the same time. Me too. Sit back. Take a deep breath. I really need to improve the these places. There you go. Pilgrims in. Oh, and we can build finally sick house over here. And that's one of the issues. We haven't been able to keep up with this yet. Been able to build up our, our hospitals to such a point that we are quite safe. Curling disease can still ravage our lands incredibly. Alright. My liege, Nishan catches up with you as you're strolling down the main hall. I know that this is an uh, event that can lead to really bad things, by the way, but uh, I want to have some fun here. Catches up with you as you are strolling down the main hall. She looks concerned and you order her to spit it out, whatever the news is. The tunnels, my lord, she breathes and continues to to tell you that it seems somebody has been using them. And guards have stumbled upon tools and torches recently used by the look of it. It's a great opportunity for an ambush. Whoa! Didn't realize I spent that much money. Your guards have captured someone in the tunnels. However, the person does not seem to be completely stable. Your guards... Your guards' faces are not showing the usual blood first when they present the terror to silent. Starved looking an oddly jumpy person. I think normally she leads a rebellion. Uh, because normally I think she leads a rebellion and you could die in your sleep. But let's say what she has to hear for herself, because normally I think it's about a witch or something. You approach the locked door warily. Inside, Deptara, Deptera is talking quietly to herself. The guards tell you that she claims to have had a lover at court. They were on the back... They were on the way back into the castle when her beloved fell ill. Devastated from the loss, she remained in the tunnels. She doesn't seem old there, my lord. Uh, the poor thing. Let her join her court. Actually... She could lead the disease into us. Nope. You can't go. Bye-bye. Oh, you wake in the middle of the night to a loud clamoring down the corridor outside the room of shadows and pitchfork paint the walls and you're screaming you close the door behind you how did the peasants get in the tunnel should be secure my nishan had them inspectors gods to arms that scheming lurker you let in must somehow have messaged the rebels you think during the chaos they called for her over and over the tear on the silence the chaos was everywhere and even though your guards held the peasant soldiers well enough in injuries the, I the injuries are felt on your side as well. This is awful. I gain cynical. She gains a stealthy getaway. And I become one-handed. What? Why is that? I've never had that event go well. Uh. Burn the apostate. I never had that event go well. Funny enough, this increases learning, but lowers my personal combat skill. 
So these are the peasants that are fighting for their lives. That's what, what when this can happen, this event. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do this. I know he hates me, but this was his ambition. Let him do this, and he's pretty good at it, my son. And then, I'm gonna say, haha, I'm gonna give it to my friend over here, so that I have someone I can trust in the council. There we go, Arabian, oh yeah, he's going to go for the jury part of this. Just surrender, please. I can't because it's not in seclusion. Oh, right. I'm in seclusion right now, so I can't talk to my courtiers. Finally, I got severely injured. Yeah, I lost a hand in a peasant rebellion. Eh, that gives a little bit of flavor to us, right? The has declared Arabian Civil War. Would you please? Well, now our nation is in a mess because everybody is attacking one another, but it's just the way it is. 96% in his favor, and I just have to, I, I mean, I have to ease down here. Uh, now he wants Prince Prashina the Unfaithful dead. Please don't. Is she pregnant of me then, that you're complaining about this? Uh, Amara Gideon. Oh, she's part of the Islamic Brotherhood. Didn't realize I would see that, of course. But I kind of already expected that anyways. So, Amara, no, it's your child. Why would you kill her, you numbnuts? Don't do that. Stop at the plot. Uh, you're already being asked for that. Good. It's a good wife. It's a good... It's good. It will get us an enormously good alliance. Stop on that. Complaining. Deficit, look at that. Deficit just took all of this. And we are going to inherit it. Trust me, we will wage war for it. I don't know yet how, but I will do it. Because we have claims to residence. We already have children that are of this dynasty. I didn't need to take all the lover thing. It's kind of funny that after I became a lover of her, she actually produced more children. But, oh well. Uh, excellent, I guess. Zoroastrian. What do I care? Uh, we can ransom her for 10 gold? Oh. You, Abbasid. I, I would love it if I could just... You know what? Send gift. Recruit! There we go, we have a genius here! That's awesome! Uh, and marry her too! Another genius! Just marry her out! There you go, you're now in a different county, but then we have two geniuses here, and oh, darn it, he's highly suspicious! Why does that keep happening to me? <laughs> Um, that was probably way too expensive for what it was worth. Uh, kill you. Use this opinion of all, uh, all your vassal's opinion. What? Oh, she's part of his realm. Okay, sorry. You are free to go. Same for you. You are free to go. And you are part of his realm. Can I convince you to join? You have claims on back there. Okay. Can't recruit you right now. Send gift. That's not a big one. Recruit. Recruiter. Demand religious conversion. Then you might be useful to us. Uh, considering you have claims. You are of the opposite dynasty. You are... We can recruit you immediately. We can demand your religious conversion. There we go. At the end of our... Our episode here, we're just gonna be nice. Just... Just gonna be nice. No, you are not going to be freed because you are an apostate. That was your mistake, dear sir. I can ransom you and I... No. You. Thank you. Who are you, actually? Well, you are... S beneath me, so I, I have no idea why I have you. Probably an award that I kind of forgot. Uh, you're... 
Okay, and you're zealous, so I really don't have any use for you. 110 bucks, though. Please, please do. Uh, let's do this for a short moment. So we can have these things involved. Third Mosul Holy War for an area over here. They were really hammering down on our moral authority by doing that. This guy is actually kind of big. So it was kind of good that the Tubbis had attacked here in full Favar. Favar? Don't ask. It's late. In the episode. I'm just... No. Okay? Just... No. Uh, you don't want to be recruited. Just release her. Actually, she had claims. I should have done that. Uh, can I just execute you? No one will care. Boop. Just make the game run a little smoother, actually. And I could recruit you. Yeah, that works just fine. Here. Not that it really matters, because your stats are horrible or whatever, you know, but then at least I didn't kill you. Because I said I would be nice. And now I actually, I didn't. Which is kind of bad. Alright. I've gained a friend. Okay. Who's highly suspicious, but he is my friend. And a child needs an upbringing, even though you're slothful, the rest is good, so we'll do that. Deceitful is a little bit annoying, but... Because it really lowered his his diplomacy. But mainly, uh, Secluded of Court just does, does do the end. Seven isn't good, though, but uh, it's, it's doable. Um... I wish we had somebody who needs to be on the count. That's actually good at it, like the Duke of Alexandria. Let's do that. Because then you can talk to the King of Abyssinia that you're sorry that you took his job, but you were just a little bit better. There we go. Um, I think with that I'm going to end the episode, because, well, we've done enough as it is. I'm sorry not a lot happened. Um, it was just the way of this episode. Um, but there were... Well, I, I couldn't keep away the Holy Roman Empire formation from you. So I uh, will hopefully come back in the next episode when something interesting has happened. Like, for instance, attack this, you bloody... Attack it! Attack! But no... Well, I say I thank you for watching, and remember, great peril yields great beauty.